uh oh, you went to so much trouble to create a video to put out on social media. You included a great story. You gave really wonderful information. The people that know that you recorded it and got a preview of it just lavished you with praise of how wonderful it was. But you put it out there and there just wasn't that many people that, that watched it. And when you looked at the stats, many of the people that did start to watch it didn't stay past about 10 or 15 seconds. Hi, I'm Mark Bullock. I'm the co-founder of videosocials.net and a phone blogger.net. And the reason why you didn't get the viewership that you wanted may be because you forgot to lead with the uh-oh. In other words, what are they watching the video for? They're watching it because they're either trying to avoid pain or get out of pain. So that being said, lead with the pain and then tell the story and then show how you can help them avoid the pain or get out of the pain. That's as simple a way to think about it as I can, I can dream up. But essentially, remember, you only got seconds, lots of dispute of how many seconds, some say three, some say seven, some say 10, but you've got seconds for somebody that doesn't know you, that stumbles across your video on any of the social media platforms, you've got seven seconds, I say, to get their attention. And it needs to be authentic. It needs to be real. And the easiest way to do that is to talk about what pain point specifically that your prospective client might be experiencing that you can help them avoid. Then tell them a story about somebody that didn't use your services and how much pain they experienced. And then how you can help them either avoid it or get out of it. Keep it simple. Tell a story. Always start with the uh-oh. Hope you found that valuable. If you did, you'll find lots more at videosocials.net forward slash academy. And again, I'm Mark Bullock, the co-founder of videosocials.net and a phone blogger.net. Have a great day.